Welcome. Sometimes in Power BI, to obtain the visualization you desire, requires the combination of two or more diagrams into one. In Power BI, this is easy to do. You simply take one diagram and place it on top of the other. However, there are a few additional points to consider, such as grouping, layers, interactivity of the new combined diagram, and interaction with other diagrams on the page. On this page, I have a card which shows the total number of items sold, and I have a donut which breaks down the total sold by items A, B and C. For this example, I need to turn the background off of the donut. So in format, general, effects, background off, then I simply move the donut on top of the card. After I do this, I should group the items together. To do this, I simply drag my cursor across the area where the diagrams lie. Then up in Format, select Group, Group. By grouping the diagrams together, this means that if one diagram moves, both diagrams move. It also means that if one diagram is resized, both diagrams are resized. In a moment, I will show you another way to group diagrams together when I discuss layers. When combining diagrams, the order of layers matter. I explain in more detail why layers matter in this video, a link to which is in the video description below. To view the layer order of this diagram, simply go to the top, click View, then Selection. Here, Group 1 is the group which I created just a few minutes ago. And if I click on the arrow, I can see that the donut is sitting as the top layer with the total card sitting as the bottom layer. This order matters because if I change the order and put the card as the top layer, you can see that the card is more prominent and is covering part of the donut. Yes, I can go to the card and similar to before, switch the background to off. But the inadvertent result of this is that I lose interactivity with the donut. For instance, if I hover on an area of the donut covered by the card and click on this area, nothing happens. If I click on another area outside the card, then you can see that the figures change. So the donut is working, but what has happened is the card has obscured access to the underlying diagram. To remedy this, I simply go back to my layer order and move the donut back up to the top. And now when I click anywhere on the donut, the interactivity operates as expected. Admittedly, you are sometimes combining diagrams as you wished to prevent a user from accessing the interactivity of a lower level diagram. And I discuss this in more detail in this YouTube video. I've put a link to that video in this video's description. I mentioned earlier that there was more than one way to group diagrams together. And in this case, if I put this diagram on top of this one, and then if I go to the selection pane, I can see my two diagrams. So if I just click on both of these diagrams and on a Windows computer, I can do this by holding down the shift key. I can then right click and do group, group. If I then click the drop down arrow, 
to make sure that my layers are in the correct order. And in this case, they are. We've got the donut, then the card. If your diagrams have grouped in an incorrect layer order, you can simply click on the layer to select it and then drag it into whichever position you require. An additional point I would like to discuss is the interaction of the diagrams with other items on a page. For example, if I select a row on this table, both diagrams currently update. And as you saw earlier, if I select one of the items in that diagram, the other diagram also updates. Here, I would like the card total to remain static regardless of anything else a user may wish to select on the page. This interaction should perhaps be considered before you merge your diagrams together. In this example, if I click on my diagrams and then go to Format, Edit Interactions, when I click on the doughnut, I can't access the interaction symbol as the doughnut is sitting on top of the card. Please remember that the centre of the doughnut is not empty, it is just transparent. If you are in the same position, here when I go across to my selection, my group 1, I may have to temporarily ungroup the items, then move the diagram, to access the non symbol, then move the diagram back. And in this example, I need to select both my layers again and right click and group. Now, when I click on a segment of the donut, my total remains static. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button and click the subscribe button if you would like to hear more from me. Thanks for watching.